So one year on, we're back where it all started. Manifarm fishing in Biggles Way, but this time we're on the Bex Lake. Lovely weather and we're hoping to haul on some zigs. We found some awesome swims with loads of fish in front of them already. So with no further ado, let's get some rigs out there and get fishing. instead of the red and black phone, taken on an eight foot zig, but this was also part of a brace. We'll show you the other one now. Here's number two of the brace. It was also taken on a zig rig, just like the first one. Now, I've already said I'm gonna show you my spob mix, so let's go. So this is the spob mix we've been using this session to great effect. Start off, two tins of tuna. Uh, this is in the brine. I would usually use it in the sunflower oil um, to add to the lightness of the spob mix, but they didn't have any in the shop or didn't find any, so. Just smash that up in your hand so you get loads of light flakes going through the different water columns. Give that a real smash up. Cool. The next one, coconut milk and condensed milk or evaporated milk. This adds to the cloudiness of the spob mix, which is vital when you're sloppy spob mix or if you're fishing over zigs. Next one, good old fashioned sweet corn. Brilliant hook, uh, hook bait item. You can use a bit of yellow foam as the sweet corn is drifting through the layers. It's a really good bait. Put a few bit, well, a few shakes in there. That's probably, well, that's a kilo bag, so that's probably half the bag in there. We'll give that a mix up again. What else have we got down here? Right, this stuff is called the hemp buckwheat and balacan. Um, balacan is fermented shrimp, and not many people use it. Well, I've never seen anyone on the bank using it. Um, so I think this is a real edge and it's worked really well so far for us. If I can get it out. Give that a few shakes. Cool. Um, liquid, chilli hemp oil. Once again, it adds to the lightness of the spob mix. Really good and really spicy. Carb love chilli, anything like that. So give that a capful. There. Next one, it feeds them XP, stimulates the fish, makes them want to feed a little bit more, which is really, really good in any spog mix. Uh, give that a little mix round, mix everything together. Second last ingredient, it's just a bit of milk and nut crush, just binds it together and just eliminates any spod spill that you're going to get. Might as well just pour that. Lots of bits of chopped nut milk protein powders loads of stuff in there it's a really really good ground bait it's, I think it's used as a stick mix actually but Jack and I found it to be really effective the last one get the old goo you can't beat this stuff if I can unscrew the lid big old glob of it in there that's going to create that amazing green colour that the fish cannot resist uh, in conditions like this so give that a mix round and that's the finished product, a really milky but very attractive spot mix. It's going to be brilliant in any zig conditions. Okay, so we've been spotting over zigs all morning. We've had loads and loads of bites. These are the pick of the bunch from me and Jack. This is around the £10 mark and it's a really long, lean common car. Well, another one taken on the zigs on a piece of black and yellow foam. This is a proven tactic in the spring and summer months when it's nice and hot and the fish are up in the layers. Let's get them zigs back out there and see if we can get a couple more. Well, the weather's started to hotten up a bit now, just like the action. And because of the heat, I think the fish have moved up in the layers a bit more. So I've lengthened the zigs by another foot and they seem to be doing the business. So let's get it back out there. Well, this is the rig we've been using this trip. It's simply just the infamous zig rig. Starting at the top, we've got a piece of black and red foam. This has seemed ideal for this session. And we've experimented with loads of different colours and this seems to be the one. It's important to have a really buoyant hook bait to keep it keep it up there, you don't want it sinking back down. And also a small hook bait to match all the particles that are going to be floating around the cinema spot mix. This is not less knotted onto, a, onto the shank of a size 10 mixer hook, which is super sharp and small, ideal for a zig rig. Just to note, it's whipped really tight to the shank, which you need for a zig. Then a piece of silicone to kick it round and grab hold in the bottom lip. 
and seven feet of the cruiser control material, which is a lightweight nylon and doesn't sit and doesn't drag drag the zig down, and it just stays up. Moving on, I've been using the foam so I can see the hook bait in the air, so I can see if it twi if it twists around the main line, and I can see the two splashes, so I know it hasn't tangled. Then I'm covering it in my two favourite goose, the raspberry plume. This sinks down and draws the fish up, and the corn twist which stays around the hook bait and can go up and draws the fish down and it just gives a really bright green cloud. Well as you can probably tell from my sunburnt face it's been a baking hot day today and the odds haven't really been in my favour as I'm fishing the main body of the lake that's quite deep and the fish just haven't really been there. They've been up in the shell, up in the island shelves in the shallow water just sunbathing but for Jake it's been a brilliant session. I'll let him explain further. Well this is my biggest of the session. Um, well, together we've taken about 40 fish, 35 to 40 fish today. I've had about 20 and Jack's had about 15. It's been a really, really good session. Well, another little one on the zigs. The light's starting to fade now and the fish are really switching on. Getting the spots out there now, trying to keep them fish in the area. So let's quickly get those zigs back out there and see if we can get a couple more before it gets dark. Well, what a brilliant 12 hours fishing that's been. We've both had about 25 fish each. All fish have come to the almighty zigs. I'd highly recommend using them in these hot months and even in the winter. Also, I don't think we'd be here about the Calder Carp Academy, so if you're 17 and under, I'd highly recommend signing up for it. And if you are thinking about signing up for it, it's definitely worth a shout. Jack and I had an unbelievable experience in St. that we'll never forget. So thanks for watching, and we hope you can take something from this video and put it into your own fishing.